Broderick, how do you feel about today's game? Uh, I feel like this game's going to be easy. You know, I'm obviously the better coach here. Really? Nuge got a suit on, think he's about to win. See, me and Coach Prime, we dress up like this, and it's going to be too easy. I got Colt Nelson, best player in the league. Uh, Reese couldn't show up. I don't know why. Probably uh, crashed or something. Yeah. He's probably dead. Yeah. All right. How do you feel about today's game? I think it's going to be a blowout. My team's going to win. Similar to Brody? What? I mean, that's what he was saying. Are you just saying the same things? you just copying him? You know, Brody's a follower. You know, he's a charity. He's a And we're obviously going to win. Well, hey, the outfit's very nice. The Taco Bell. How do you feel about Allier? Allier and Colt, the GOAT debate. I think Allier is by far the GOAT, clearly. I mean, look at him. He's big. He's a good kid. He's a great kid. I mean, he would never do a bad thing in his life. You think he's going to just go crazy today, hit four homers? Yeah, and we also have Brock Owens. You know, I have a lot of faith in him. I think that we're, it's just going to be a blowout. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the 2023 JCWL All-Star Game. Sadly, the first four innings, the audio was corrupted, so I'm going to be talking over the game for a little bit. Let's get into it, folks. Let's get to the first batter. Looks like it's Aiden Woods up. First team selection all-star this year. Captain of the Piranhas. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Unexpected. Gets caught on a slider going out of the zone. Now we have Miller time up to bat. Plays for the Outlaws. Pitch. That ball is hit down the line. And why are they leaving the ball? And nobody fields it. That ball was clearly fair. What are they doing? And I'm confused. What's going on? And then Coach Nugent just pushes the ball. <laughs> Cannot do that. That's going to be a fine. No clue what's going on here. What the heck is Brock Owens doing? And that ball is clearly fair. It's going to be called fair. Now up to bat Colt Nelson. Absolute bum. Should not be here. And strikes out. Proving why he is terrible at this game. Now Cade Petty's up. Plays for the Bandits. He played for the Bandits. Recently traded Orange Aces. And he gets the walk just low. And he throws a bat at Brock. That's another fine. Maltel finds this game, and Aiden Woods just lost the bat. That ball, that bat went flying, my bad. And here's the pitch, and walks him. Bases loaded. Miller time is up. Swings at a slider outside, and he is <laughs> And what the, what did Brock Owens just do? What is he doing? Stop that. Absolutely unnecessary. Now Brock owns up to bat. Plays for the Bandits. First team selection this year. Gets caught swinging on a drop ball. Going out of the zone. Rookie mistake. Chase Allier up now. Should not really be here at all. And swing and a miss. And knocks the strike zone over because he is so goddamn big. He is a muscular man. I'm not going to lie. Grant Hunter up now. And the pitch is going to be outside and low. Grant Hunter with a walk. Was supposed to play with the Spartans this year. The team did not work out. Matthew Payne up to bat. Also played for the Spartans. And he's going to get a good hit there by Payne. Ball's not going to be in first in time. Matthew Payne, a very fast person. That's single for Payne. Brock Owens up now. Watches one low. Good eye, good eye, kid. Aiden Woods in an early jam here. He's going to need to get the next batter out. Let's see who it is. And it's Chase Allier. So this is an easy out. Yup. Yup. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful screwball on the top of the zone. Going the top of the second. Tied 0-0. Colton Nelson up to bat now. Gets a hit. Not really a hit. And that's just pure luck. Bad throw by Brock. But really just a lucky hit to be honest. Cade Petty up to bat now. The pitch inside. It's going to put a runner on first and second for this team. And, you know, Coach Prime is definitely proud about that. Really proud. Aiden Woods up. Oh. And that ball clearly did not hit. And I have no clue what's going on. He should be taking his base. It should be a walk. Aiden looks pretty upset. No clue what's going on. And what the heck is Cohen Betts doing on the field? And, oh, so Cohen Betts thinks the ball hit the strike zone, apparently. You know, thank God we're not paying him to do that because he is terrible at this. Um, And that's a strike for sure. 
That definitely hit. Jacob, move. Jacob, Jacob, stop standing there, buddy. All right, Cole Nelson up now. He pitch. That's a missile. Great hit. Oh, actually, that's a terrible hit. Cannot be caught glazing myself. They're going to freaking make fun of me in the comments. And that's an RBI hit for that dude that I have no clue who he is. Um, K putty up now, and he pops it up, and Brock catches any charge in the, and Brock's just gonna run away. Yep, that is so predictable. Such a thing Brock would do. Aiden with the pitch, that's right down the middle. Good pitch, good pitch. Matthew Payne up now, and he makes contact again. He's going to Petty, and Petty just overthrew a six foot five guy. That is terrible, dude. That. Jacob Miller is like a Division One volleyball player, and he overthrew him. And Brock Owens gets underneath that one, and that ball carries over the, the freaking fence. That's a freaking home run. How? Brock Owens shocks everyone. That ball barely got over. Cole Nelson should have robbed that, but they are heightened now. This gives the West a 2-1 lead. Brock Owens carrying the early MVP of this game. Chase Alley up to bat. The pitch from Woods. That ball definitely hit. No way. No way. Coach Prime is mad. And Coach Prime is just not happy. And that's a strike. Grant Hunter strikes out. That's a nasty pitch. That's hard to hit. Hard to predict. Here we go now. Matthew Payne up to bat. And watches one outside. He's a veteran. He is a veteran. Trained veteran. Brock Owens up now. And what the heck is this camera angle? Cade Petty catches it, and whoever, this camera angle better be fixed, or someone's getting fired. And it's not been fixed. I'm seeing more sky than wiffle ball, to be honest. Jacob Miller, good hit. Comes back fair. Run. Run. He's safe. Cole Nelson up now. Strike out. Predictable. Predictable. Cade Petty up now. Definitely going to be an out. And, yep. And he throws about again. That's another fine. Oh, my God. If, honestly, if I'm Brock, I'm not taking that. But it is Brock. Colt Nelson, walk. Trash. Trash. Nice slider. Could not see it, though, because what is this camera angle? Someone fix this. Someone's getting fired. Matthew Payne, what a hit. Great poke there. And this camera angle, if it's not fixed, we're going to have to fire somebody. We're going to get to the bottom of this, figure out who is doing this. Another walk for Colt Nelson. Bases loaded. Only one out. Struggling. And Coach Prime is on the field. I don't know what the heck he's saying. Something about, like, we ain't done yet. Maybe he can motivate the team here. And Colt Nelson with the pitch. And it gets Chase Alley swinging. And another strikeout. And he gets out of the jam. And that's all due to Coach Prime, probably. He probably said something motivational. And the camera angle is finally fixed. And that's a walk. And what's happening? Oh, someone's getting fired. This is bad. This is bad. Top of the fourth one, the two right now. Miller time with a good hit. Chase Allier. Chase Allier just kicked the ball. Fumbled it, then kicked it. This is not soccer, buddy. And Nugent is on the field telling him something. No clue what he's telling him. It could be anything. It really could be anything. Nugent, just kind of a, you know, a wild card type of guy. Chase Allier walks Colt. And the big question is, will Chase Allier be able to hit the medal? No, he will not. And he walks in the run. It's 2-2 two two now. This game is tied. Matthew Payne comes in at pitcher. He needs to go freaking home. He throws it to Aiden Woods. Go Nelson's coming home. Kate Payne is going to beat it out. And a little blooper. An infield three-run RBI hit by Aiden Woods. Holy crap. Jake up. Miller up to bat. Strikeout. That's a good pitch there by Chase. It's hard to hit. Cannot blame that one on Miller. Trying his best out there, man. Good kid. Now Cole Nelson's up. And he hits one. And that's a good hit. Good poke. Actually, that's not a good poke. Once again, cannot get caught glazing myself. Okay, Petty up and strikeout. Oh, no, it's not a strikeout. And Brock Owens tags him. Colt's going third. Stops. Be a close play at third. And he misses him. Cole Nelson should be going home right now. No. No way they said that ball hit him. No way. That ball it clearly does not hit him. These these refs, I'm telling you. Look, right there. No chance that hit him. The refs are mother... Everybody take a seat over here. I'm not angry at you guys. I'm a little disappointed. You know, I thought we could perform better. 
We stopped the second half, um, scratched the whole first half, and let's lock in for the second half. You know, I really think that we have a big chance to beat this team. You know, you guys have great opportunities, and I think that, you know, you guys are great kids. And Matthew, why are you laughing? You want to sit out the second half? You want to sit out? Get out of my locker room. Get out of my locker room. Get out of my locker room. If you don't want to be here, then don't be here. The door's right over there. If you don't want to be here, walk out. No. Get out the middle. Get out the drill. Get out of the <laughs> One strike unless it's been swung at. And that's a fifth straight. Six straight pitch high, actually. Missed that one. And he walks him. Two batters. Two one down. Two oh. Dang. Oh, Hell yeah! Absolutely takes one! Showing why he should be in the GOAT debate. Allier did not hold back on that 2 0 green light tank. Allier just absolutely let loose on that one. Looked like it went about 150. Unbelievable swing. Throws it low. That's a walk. That is not prudent to say. Oh my gosh, that's a dirty play. The bat's been thrown. Matthews charging the mound. Possibly one of the first mound charges in history. Hey, that's a double out. Or not a double out, that's a double oh, out. Oh, Petty's coming at him. Yeah. Strikeout by Miller. First of the end. And he misses Allier's walk into first. Two count. Miller's put himself in the situation again where it's a clutch or kick. And Grant swings at an outside pitch. Grant, it's all right. That's the world Grant. is in shock. Grant, it's my fault. It's the count. Yeah, foul it. tip for an out. That's a foul tip for an out. If it hits the zone after the foul. Oh, Allie with the second fumble of the day. We got a massive fire going on behind us. Somebody might be dying in their home. Alright, we'll take it. We'll take it. Go, go, go. Out! He's out! Stay, 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 stay. Miller advances third. What a sacrifice by Colt Nelson, even though I don't think that's what the move was. Good job, bro. He's got to go home. Oh my God! The third overthrow of the day by Allier. You got to start to think it might be his feeling that's dragging him out of the go conversation. The fifth. Nugent's coming out on the field. We got time on the field. The belt's always in this man's hands. <laughs> All four. What a bat flip. What a bat flip. Very just basic bat flip, but it was a bat flip. <laughs> Matthew off his hand. That's going to be some runs. He's out! Out! It tipped his sweatshirt. Do you want to keep talking? It's out. He's out! He just threw the bat probably. That's the farthest hit Petty's ever had. Fair ball. Brock Owens running. He beats it out. He's safe. Brock Owens with the hustle. Single. Oh, I thought that was Brock. pieces that ball. Oh my God, Kane drops it. Allie says, screw your call, Blue. I'm getting a hit whether you like it or not. I'm taking that base. That's my base. What? It's popped up. Oh, it's a dirty play by Matthew there.
Strike three. Top left, everybody. Allie swings over the top of it. That's the inning. <laughs> Jacob Miller stepping up to the plate. Coach Prime's team. Absolutely stripes one, one hops to the fence. Beautiful throw by Grant. People are gonna be wondering why this kid's not playing baseball this year for Friends Community High School. You don't want to pitch too Nelson. Ball four. Matthew talking all that smack. Absolute pop-up. Grant fumbles it. He's out. He's out at third. Hey, hey, that's a dirty play by Miller. Can't be jumping like that. It's a dangerous play. <laughs> talking about fantasy, mid-pitching is a bold move. Smart play by Brock. Smart play by Brock. Get the guaranteed out there. Strike three, Brock Owen strikes out Colt Nelson. And that's why. Three straight sliders. I mean, seriously. Matthew Payne swings. Colt Nelson delivers on the pitch. Brock Owens swings on a 2-2 pitch outside. And that's the game. Nelson and Miller obviously celebrating. Cade Petty disappointed in his gameplay after dropping a ball. And giving up an absolute tank to the go. Chase out. Brock, tough loss today. You pitched majority of the game. How you feel about your uh, pitching performance? I feel like a good outing. Not bad for a rookie. Not not bad for a rookie at all. So I mean, year. not bad for a second year rookie. Yeah. Um, third year rookie. Third, third year. We're getting some news here. <laughs> and uh, I'm a veteran. Well, how would you feel about your hitting performance? I mean, some might say it was I subpar. Home, I had a home run. So? That's all I did. It is all you did. I, I had a single. Got walked a couple times. I helped the team. It was a pretty controversial single, though, Brock. Colton Nelson can lick my nut. It's a bold statement. You heard it here first. The GOAT, well, supposed GOAT can lick Brock's nuts. All right, let's move on to something All right, sexually. Send, you heard it. Send it over to Matthew Payne now. How do you feel about your performance today? It wasn't bad. Hitting aspect, it wasn't bad. Fielding, didn't really do much. Oh, shit. <laughs> Almost just made a snag there. Uh, uh, you know what? It's my job, but not a bad outing for uh, Team Cinnamon Hellfire. It's very true. Not a bad outing at all. Uh, coming back this year, how you feeling? Feeling great. Feeling new. I just needed an off year to uh, support my family and uh, – Friends. So many people here can relate to that today. You know, you got to respect the game, respect the hustle. Thank you for coming out, sir. Yep, thank you. On a Chase Allier, the man who almost tied the game with one swing. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? You know, I feel like I did pretty good, but probably shouldn't have skipped church for this because obviously God wasn't on Brock's side today. A um, lot of lot of errors, a lot of uh, <laughs> runs given up. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have, but, you know, I feel like God was a little upset with that. Yeah, but God was not upset about that absolute tank. So let's yeah, talk about God that. God was one. definitely on my side, but I don't know about Brock's. You know, Brock. Chase, how yeah. many errors do you make today? Brock, uh, <clears throat> Allie, how do you feel about those uh, overthrows to first? And you know, that's just my hip failure. <laughs> Okay, but what about the what about the bobbled ones? Uh, somebody detain him. Somebody detain this man. We have a wild Brock right. on the right, loose. All right, I guess we're uh, moving on to Grant here. Grant. Tough day, kid. Uh, you know, some would say you had a great game considering how good the pitching was against you, and you had some great field playing too. Mm -hmm. Next question. Next question? Next question. Um, how do you feel about the team today? You know, you guys think you performed pretty well? No comment. No comment? All right. Um. Good weather or bad weather today? Hmm? Good weather or bad weather? Nice question. Taco or burrito kind of guy? Uh, no comment. No comment. Uh, pancakes or waffles? Last question, sir. Pancakes, pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. pancakes. Greatest decision he's ever made. On to Coach Nugent. 
the greatest to ever coach. What's up? How you feeling about the game? Give us your give us your thoughts. I think we fought hard, came short. Um, I'm pretty impressed with all my players. I'm proud of them. But you know, it's a hard loss, and it was fun. You know, it's just an all-star game. Sitting in Hellfire, we're getting ready this season. We had a lot of players that played in the all-star game today, and I think they performed well. So, what are your thoughts on uh, Chase Allier? Who do you think was? I mean, do you think that was the best hit of the game? I think his home run was the best hit of the game. You know, there's some things that he can improve on, but I think he's a good kid and that we're just going to bounce back and he's going to make a lot of improvements. And Yeah. Uh, do you think that Allier could possibly be and beat out Colt Nelson for the goatee if he just gets his fielding up? I think he's already better than Colt, you know. He just – he needs to show it on the field. I know he has it in him. You know, his potential is sky high. Mm. And that come this season, Cinnamon Hellfire, we're winning the World Series. <laughs> Miller, how do you feel about your performance today? No, I think I went out there, showed him how it's done, you know. You showed him how it's done? You think so? Yeah. What about your pitching performance? I mean – it started off really shaky, and then you you managed to pull it back in yeah. after Kate gave I, up I that home that run. found that one pitch, you know. Found that one pitch? What was that one pitch? Just a slider. Just a slider. You heard it. You heard it. Ah, uh, anything else? Anything else oh, you're yeah. coming on? Oh, uh, we just traded him. Um, Hey, uh, get out of here. You suck. They should have kept me. I'm a goatee pitcher, trust me. <sighs> Petty, how do you feel about the game today? You know, maybe I wasn't on my game because it's been – it's been a while since I've played, so uh, I apologize to uh, Coach B. Jones. Uh, I apologize to my teammates, but I think I made up for my mistakes, and I'll be back. I'll be better, back better than ever. Back better than ever. Cade Petty, very sentimental about that one, you know. Great player, great kid. Got to love him. Got to love him. All right, Colt Nelson, the supposed go incoming fly balls from Jacob Miller, who's staying salty. How do you feel about the game? I think it was good. Uh, We didn't have Aiden or Nathan. Oh, Coach is finally here. Coach showed up. Coach just got Uh, back. uh, You know, we're missing our guys, some of the top players in the league. But, you know, we were down 2-1, and B. Jones came on the field, and he said, we ain't done yet. And that really motivated me. You know, I I had the bases loaded at that time, like no outs, and I was able to get three straight outs, you know. And the rest of the game, I just used that momentum that B. Jones gave me to win this game for us yeah pretty great pitching all around by you some great hitting great base running um obviously you argued a couple calls tried to get people to swing when the ball wasn't going to be there what was that all about you know any you like wiffle ball is really mental you know just those split second choices and any way to alter those choices you know uh we were missing a big player today nathan neville you know so at the plate today i had i had to just swing the bat no matter what because we're missing his hitting so i had to generate that so you know, I wasn't myself at the plate today, but I did. I think I did pretty well. You know, I think it paid off. I mean, in the end, you, yeah, you really clutched up your team there. Um, how do you feel about Elias' home run, though? You think he's got a shot at coming for you in the goat conversation, or do you think it's not even close? Absolutely. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it. He's staying the goat. Stay here. All right, Coach Prime, Brody Jones. Some might call you the greatest coach of all time. Some call Nugent the greatest coach of all time. I think it just comes down to what you think. It's a solid, solid statement about you. Would you like to say into the microphone? Uh, I mean, come on, man. I mean, I picked the best player ever to play this game. And I got Neville, Aiden. Neville wasn't here, but he had family issues. I think, was, I think he had the work or something. Couldn't had the work? Skip. I had the work, too, but personally, I came here. It's a good man. What are your thoughts on the game, though? Uh, you know, we started off kind of, I don't know, we were just getting warmed up, and I told the team, bases loaded, I was like, Colt, we got this, you know, we came back 185, couldn't be here the last inning, had family issues, but uh, it was just too easy. Too easy? I mean, you don't think they contested you at all when Ali put them up or down by one run and almost tied up the game? Uh, honestly, we put in Petty, and we were just kind of messing around, and we could add Colt out there for another inning, I think. And he wasn't really trying himself. 
I mean, it was just too easy for us. Just cakewalk, walk in the park, walking the dog, not even pulling on you. All right, what would what would that question be, sir? Uh, Coach, Coach uh, Prime, Coach Jones, whatever they call you. Uh, where were you when you left? Um, you know, I had to take some care of things in the locker room with my family. You know, they're getting pissed at the fans. You see all these fans out here. Mm. You know, so I thought we had the game won, so I just left. But I'm here now. I'm always on time. And that is the 2023 JCWL All-Star Game. Good night, Brody. Good night, Nugent. And good night to all the players.